is going to show you how to uh, generate certificates on a Palo Alto Networks firewall using an external CA. First thing you want to do is hit generate right up here. The name you give it doesn't really have a lot of significance. Um, just make sure it's unique against other certificate names inside of the trust store here. And the common name can overlap with others, but you get commit warnings if you do that. So it's best to make that unique as well. And I'm just gonna call this, I'm gonna keep it simple, test decrypt. Uh, Cause I already have a, a decrypt cert in here for word trust. So this is just for example, um, and you don't have to make the names match, but I'm just doing so for sake of example. And then I wanna choose an external authority. I do not need to mark, uh, check this box because the firewall in this case is not the CA. I'm gonna be using an external CA. Uh, and if I don't ever want the private key to be exportable, I would check this box. It won't be exported as part of the CSR, but if I don't check the box, someone could export the cert and private key later. So um, keep that in mind if you don't want that. And then if you wanted to find an OCSP responder now, you can do so. If you've defined one here, you can reference it. Um, or you can define it in the actual certificate signing procedure. Uh, and the cryptographic values you want to define, uh, these are all up to you. I'm just going to keep it simple for now and leave it as is. Now the other certificate attributes, these show up as subject alternate names. Um, I recommend if you're going to have like Chrome browsers anywhere, that you also define a SAN for the name that matches the common name uh, because Chrome doesn't like just CNs anymore. And if you ever need to browse by IP and you want that included, feel free to add that um, as, as needed, right? Uh, click generate. This is gonna create like a little orange line and the status for the certificate is pending as you see here. So what I wanna do then is export the certificate. Okay, it gets downloaded. Uh, let me make sure that download, yep, there it is. Uh, go ahead and open that up. You can see this is the second time I've done this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this challenge text here. And I'm gonna go over to my Microsoft CA. That's just what I have here in my lab. I'm gonna request a certificate, not a user certificate. You wanna do an advanced one. And the type or the template you use in the case of decryption is gonna be a subordinate certificate authority. You could do web server if this is like something else, right? Like you're creating a certificate for the firewall itself, like it's web server or um, there's not a lot, uh, like GP, for example, you could do there. Otherwise for decryption, you want sub CA, paste in your challenge. If you want to define attributes now, you can do so here. The formatting in the Microsoft CA is, is quite painful. So I like to do it at creation of CSR. Uh, the certificate then needs to be base 64 encoded. We can't use a dir binary. And then you, if you've never imported the assert from this CA before into the firewall, you wanna grab the chain and grab the root out of the chain, or you can go to home in the upper right, get the, the root from there. Uh, I have done it, so I just need the certificate. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Uh, I do wanna tell Chrome to keep it, right? Uh, and then I'm gonna go back now to my firewall. So the name here is very important. If I just go import and I get the name wrong, then it'll show up as a vanilla cert with no private key. I have the private key right here. So I wanna marry this request up with the response. So when I go to, oh, sorry, before I do that, I wanna open this request up, copy the name exactly as you see, just to make sure I don't typo it. I'm gonna put the name back in as you see. And then now I wanna to browse to and choose that certificate that was imported. And Bob's your uncle. This now popped in as a valid cert, right? You can see a validity period. It is both a CA with a private key and I can come in and mark it for forward trust and trusted. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.